Hey guys, Chicago Injury Lawyer Scott DeSalvo here, and in today's video, we are going to talk about attorney's fees. Uh, how much is too much? How are they calculated, right? So um, the reason I'm bringing it up is I signed up a lady's case. She was represented by another lawyer for a long period of time. That lawyer retired and handed it off to another lawyer. And she and this new lawyer just, they did not hit it off, okay? They did not hit it off well at all. So the offer on the case, the, the case went on for something like eight years. And um, the offer on the case was the same at three years in as it was eight years in. And there was no client communication no explanation. Now, I'll give you some inside baseball here. When somebody calls me and says, I have, you know, multiple surgeries, the offer is 10000 my lawyer is telling me to take it, that is a clear signal to me that there are problems with the case, okay? So there, there's two possibilities. The most common is that there are some major problems with the case, and if the client doesn't know what they are, it means that either the lawyer didn't explain what the issues were to them at all, or they didn't do a good job explaining what the issues were so that the client didn't understand them, which unfortunately, both of these things are relatively common. The third possibility is that the lawyer handling the case has no idea what he or she is doing. They're not real injury lawyers. They don't do injury law. They do maybe traffic court and real estate closings, and they thought that they'd sign up an injury case and settle it for a bunch of money, okay? So, you know, those are those are some, some possibilities, but usually if an attorney is handling an injury case, they know what they're doing, and if there's a lowball offer in the light of a lot of treatment, it usually means that there are some challenges in the case that make it where if you're going to go in front of a judge... There's a chance you're going to lose. There's a chance you're going to get less money. Okay. So that's something for you to think about. So this lady, you know, I explained to her how in workers' comp, how attorney's fees um, work, right? So you may know that attorney's fees in workers' comp cases are capped under Illinois law at 20% of what we recover for you, right? Now, your state, if you're not in the state of Illinois, might be different. In your state, it might be 25%, it might be 18%, it might be 15%. You know, it, it, that is set by your state law, and it's the, the details of workers' comp are different depending on what state you're in. Now, in third-party cases like a car crash, a fall down, a dog bite, a bar fight, a nursing home, medical malpractice, um, you have a written retainer agreement with the attorney for what percentage the attorney, it's still a contingency contract, meaning the lawyer only gets paid if they win, right? But the fee is usually a third or 33 and a third percent or 40 percent on other kinds of injury cases because those other kinds of cases require a lot more work. There's discovery, it costs a lot of money and uh, to file a lawsuit and get service on the defendants. And the cases once filed are pending for a long time and there's depositions. It's a lot of work for the lawyer once a case is in litigation. So that's why the attorney's fees are higher in those cases and they're harder to prove. In a worker's comp case, all you have to do is prove you were an employee and that you were injured in the course and scope of employment and that's it. In an injury case, there's, you know, lots of different ways a defendant can get out of paying. There's a lot of things that we have to prove on your behalf to get you money. So it's way more detailed, way more labor intensive on third party cases, which is why the attorney's fee is higher. Now, in this lady's case, um, she wanted to switch lawyers, um, you know, I usually don't want to take an old case with an offer on it. it. It's usually a misunderstanding. I usually offer, I say, listen, can, do you want me to call your lawyer, talk to him, 
find out what's going on. I'll explain it to you and I'll tell you whether I think you should take the money. She didn't want me to do that. So we took the case over. After I took the case over, I gave the lawyer a call and he told me, listen, no hard feelings. You're happy to have the case. This client and I just don't get along. You know, it's a case with some challenges, but the, the client was so happy that I took the case over. I explained to her how fees work. 99% of the time when there's a former lawyer on workers comp, there's 20% fees set by statute. So let's say if we get you on a hundred thousand dollars, the attorney's fees are 20,000. So the client um, gets 80 and the lawyers get 20, right? But the way it works is the lawyers have to split up that 20%. So in other words, if you have a former lawyer and then a current lawyer and you sign a 20% contract with them, the lawyers do not get 40% of your workers' comp settlement. They get 20% and they have to share the 20%. So that's how it works in workers' comp. That's pretty much the way it works in third-party cases, too. So let's say you have a car crash case, you have one lawyer, you have a falling out, you hire another lawyer. The, the, the contract is usually a third or 40%, and the lawyers work it out between them to split that fee up. And that's pretty much what a judge would do. In a third party and in workers' comp, if the lawyers can't agree to an amount, you go to the court and file a motion and the, and the court breaks the fee up. It's just that simple. That's how it goes. So um, this lady was disappointed in that answer because she was so grateful that I would help her on her case that she asked me, well, if, if you get paid whatever part of that 20%, can I pay you more money out of my pocket for helping me? And I'll tell her what I told you. Um, or I'll tell you what I told her, which is the fee is the fee. Okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to ask this lady, even if we get a, a home run outcome for her, I'm never going to ask her to put her hand in her pocket and offer me more money. The fee is the fee. That's it. Now on some cases where we do really well, you know, on, on really small cases that are in my office where you know, there's just not enough money to go around. I'll occasionally cut my fee to put more money in my client's pocket. I don't want to take more money than my client out of a case, even if I did a lot of work on it. Um, and then sometimes on the big cases, you know, so if I, if I get a $300,000 settlement for somebody, that's a bit, that's a large amount of attorney's fees. And many times they will try to ask me to reduce my attorney's fees on those cases. And depending on the circumstances, I will at least listen to that argument. But all of my lawyer friends yell at me for even considering cutting my fee. So, you know, like when you go to a doctor or a surgeon and they do surgery on you, you, you can't ha haggle with them. Their fee is the fee. And, you know, when somebody does your taxes or you go to a divorce lawyer, their rate is their rate. There's no haggling. Um, and there's a lot of cases that I do a lot of work on and the fees are small. So the bigger fees have to balance out. Um, you know, you need the bigger fees to balance out to make what you're doing worthwhile for your legal skills. Because if I'm not making decent money doing this, I work all the time and I'm very good at what I do and I'm very experienced at what I do. And if I'm not making decent money doing it, then I got to start thinking about selling out and, you know, becoming a insurance defense lawyer and defeating people's injury claims, which, by the way, I would never do. Um, I would never, never do that. I'm dedicated to helping injured people. But, uh, that you know, that's how attorney's fees work out. If there's a former attorney on the case, you're going to pay 99% of the time, you're going to pay one attorney's fee, the lawyers are going to split the fees up and fight about it. And if they can't come to an agreement, they go in front of the judge and the judge splits the fees up and everybody walks away unhappy. So that's how all that works. So I just thought I'd shoot you guys a video on it. I hope you and your family are doing well, but if you or anybody you know has been involved in an accident and needs a lawyer, 
please give me a holler. You can call me anytime, day or night, at 312-500-4500. That's 312-500-4500, anytime, day or night. If you have a case, you have a question, give me a holler, okay? But sometimes you're not ready to do that. You're not ready to talk to a lawyer, and maybe you want some custom information on your specific case situation without talking to a lawyer and without paying anybody, right? I should mention if you call me at 312-500-4500, it's completely free. Consultation's 100% free. But if you're not ready for a consultation, I have two really cool tools on my website that people love. Tons of people are using these tools. I'm getting a ton of positive feedback from people that these tools really help them. One is called the Good Case Calculator, and it tells you whether you have a good case or a bad case. The other one is called the Case Cash Calculator. It tells you what your case might be worth, okay? So how do they work? Well, they're different calculators, and basically you just go to the website. There's links in the description of where they are on my website. You go there. You click go, you answer seven questions off the top of your head, multiple choice questions right off the top of your head, and in 20 seconds flat, you have custom answers, custom information on your particular injury situation for free, 20 seconds flat, without talking to a lawyer, no obligation. And people really love those tools. So links in the description, check them out. I now have probably 300 injury videos where I explain different aspects of how injury cases work on my website. You can check those out on my YouTube channel. Uh, And please consider subscribing so you get notified when I release a new video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It lets um, YouTube know that it should show my video to more people and help more people. And that's the name of the game, helping injured people avoid insurance company tip uh, tricks and, and, and traps, right? So the more you know about how these cases you work, the more you can protect yourself and make sure you have a strong case. So, um, yeah, what else, what else? Um, oh, you know what? If you enjoyed my video or if you're a current or former client uh, and you don't mind doing me a favor, it would really help me out a lot. I'm in a very competitive market, and I need as many five-star Google reviews as I can get. So if you appreciate my case calculator, my injury cheat sheet, my good case calculator, my videos, um, or if you've ever asked me a question or had a consultation or used me as your attorney and you wouldn't mind giving me a five-star review on Google, super easy to do. There's a link in the description. You just go to that web page on your phone, tablet, or computer, you enter, uh, you click five stars, you say a kind word, you hit submit, literally takes you five or 10 seconds, and you're done. But it is an invaluable favor to me that really helps me out and that I will never forget. It's a nice favor. But if you don't feel comfortable doing it, that's perfectly okay. Uh, Please feel free to watch my videos, subscribe, and use the tools I provide. And of course, once again, if you or anyone you know might need an injury lawyer, I would surely appreciate the referral. Easy to do. You or they can just call me at 312-500-4500 anytime, night or day, completely free consultation. So hope you and the family are doing well. If there's anything I can do for you, reach out. Otherwise, have a great day and take care. Bye-bye.